Okay, you've lost power to all the sockets in your house. Netflix is gone. Internet, kids are driving you crazy. Here's how you potentially diagnose and solve the problem. No tools required. Okay, you're going to come to your consumer unit. You're going to look for the RCD. This is it here. It's the double size breaker. So it's twice the width of all these. This governs all your socket circuits. So if this trips, you lose all these. That's why you have no power in your sockets. Reset this guy. If it goes back up, great. Keep an eye on the problem. If it will not go back up, switch everything off to the right of it. You may have to switch off some more stuff. Switch this guy back up and then switch these on one by one until the circuit with the problem, and I know it's this one, causes it to trip, see? So I'm gonna leave that off, switch that back up, and switch everything else back on. Now, you've just restored power to every other socket circuit, circuit in the house, except for this one. Now we're gonna go around the house, find which circuit is not working, and plug everything out. Okay, so we're getting close to diagnosing the problem and we've remained nice and safe. Now, I should just point out, if you switch off all the breakers and the RCD will not reset, it's potentially a faulty unit. You will have to get a registered electrical contractor to replace it. In our case, we've narrowed down the circuit. We know where it is. In this case, it is the kitchen circuit. So I've plugged everything out on this now and I have put that RCD back up. So next thing you want to do is plug everything on that circuit back in one by one until it trips again that will tell you the appliance nine times out of ten it's either the kettle the dishwasher the washing machine or the immersion or a box outside that's full of water it's something to do with water is nine times out of ten the problem if having plugged everything out on that circuit it still will not reset then it's a problem with the circuit itself. You'll have to call an electrical contractor. But you've narrowed down the problem. You've restored power to all the other sockets in your house. You will save the electrician time and save yourself money. And the kids will calm down. So there you go. I am a registered electrical contractor. But uh, don't call me. I am way too busy. I'll see you in the next video.